Gents, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend because I am. Beifang finally starting to smurf on the Korean server. So Beifang, he is the world's number one Kiana. Famously hit rank one on the Chinese super server, Chinese player. He's migrated across to the Korean server right now. He saw Coach Nice, you know, driving in his Prius up to master tier, 60% win rate. Beifang comes out with his Bugatti, red colored by the way. Beep, beep, straight past him, zoom, 80% win rate. He might get rank one in Korea. Like this, Kiana got buffed. He said, now's the time. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. This video, I'm pumped for. Let's jump on the rift and break it down. But just before we do, I don't believe in omens, but if you don't subscribe to my channel right now and give the video a thumbs up, you are going to have 16 years of Loser's Q bad luck. I'm just going to put it out there. Do it now. Don't take the risk. Now we're into a talent here. I, I'm going to love this matchup. I already know. So rune page bottom left, we go electrocute. Mostly... Uh, Beifang, he's been going first strike, but into the talent matchup, we can go electrocute because we know we're going to be getting positive early trades. There actually is kill pressure in this lane, believe it or not. The W into melee champions like Talon, you're able to get the autos off when he moves in for these last hits. And you can also use the W to dodge out on Talon's rake. See on that second part there, so... Kiana is a champion of experience. You can't first time Kiana and expect to do well. You need to know like how matchups work, how exactly your, your damage numbers. Otherwise, you're just gonna flop and be completely um, crashed. Let's let's be real. The Bay Fang, let's the wave come into him. WQ getting the electric proc off. Q W. I'm looking for him to see the level three all in that we used to see all the time with this electric setup. We'll cop this freeze here, and then he'll hit level 3 first. I think the Talon might be running the uh, the Ignite, so this might be a little bit harder. Let's see, we hit level 3, and you can see him instantly hovering up on this cannon. This is how you do it, you trade on the minions. Talon really wants the cannon. Beifang wants to try and deny the experience. Auto. Q. And he'll head back E onto that cannon minion, into the invisibility bush. This is looking good. I like the let. It's going to crash now. If he's able to get a kill on this crash, it's game over. So you might try and see him take a risk. If you can get a solo as a, a wave is crashing, it's like a double solo. It's like a, it's like a, it's, it's, it's a double kill because not only do you get the kill, but also they lose a kill's worth of gold as we don't quite get it. Oh my God. If we were running, if we were running Ignite, which I recommend for you lower elo players, Instantly easy kill crash double kill Unfortunately, we don't quite have the numbers. It was like one damage off and the Greg is here. We'll try and salvage the lane God, I just hate when junglers ruin the fun Oh, we might try and cheese here Let's see. Oh He's off of vision. He's on vision now. He might look for the EQ and we're gonna stay greedy, greedy mid laners here. Has the biscuit. And he's gonna look for this. Biscuit pocked. He's looking for it. Is it? I'm looking to see if he's gonna E onto the minions to try and surprise. Look at the hover. Q, W, E, Q, GG. Dodges out, gets that instant gold from the treasure hunter coming through. The wave will crash back in. I don't know if I would recommend what he just did. I think he knew the Gragas was top, so he wanted to take a little bit of a risk. He'll instantly get that Dirk and come back into the lane. No tier start, by the way. I'm not sure if we're going to go Mirror Miner with his Electrocute setup. If we do, it's going to take a while to get. And the wave will come in. He could freeze this if he wants, but he's going to have to tank too much, so he's going to let it crash. Kiana, as always, in solo queue. It's a great champion to climb with. One of the best 1v9 smurfers. You can see what can happen if you're an expert at the champion. However, just as I said, you just need to put the time in. Alan gets the roam off. We'll hard shove this as fast as possible. Maybe try and cheese a plate. Alan 6. Hey, AD. Here we go. We'll get the plate. Level 6, by the way. So we have that really good level advantage over the Talon. 
Now I have to utilize and try and look for the solo. Talon 17 CS to 35. It's massive gap here in the mid lane. Now Beifang hit rank 1 on the Chinese super server earlier. I think last month. Um, into another queue. Jesus. Could look for the ultimate. The question is, is it going to be easier or harder for him to hit rank 1 on the Korean server? First and foremost, he has a sizable ping difference. His ping is much higher in Korea than it is over in China. Which on champions like Kiana make it much harder. Um, Beifang's never been rank 1 in Korea. I think it's the hardest server. In the top 100 ranks, I think it's definitely the hardest server. We'll see if our boy can prove us wrong. With this win rate and this amount of... I guess, momentum on his account. It could happen, bro. I could see it happening. I foresee it happening. I would be grateful for the content, but I think it's very low chance. He wants to try and look for the solo. He could just get, if he gets the Q and then gets the R, he could. E, R, Q, W, Q, kill. Beautiful. You're not allowed to be under half health near Beifang under the tower. You will die 100%. It's done. Get that solo bolo. Two junglers are kind of hovering and watching. We'll hard shove this in. Maybe even hustle that plate. Yes, sir. No, sir. Never mind. Big guy's here to protect. Plate is gone. That would have been so nice if he was able to get it. So he will go tier, but he'll go... He'll go up much later. His power spike won't come in for that, at least until 25 minutes or so. They wanted a little bit of extra early power. It's interesting he wants the early power, but doesn't run the ignite. It runs the teleport. Kind of contrasting. Perfect balance, maybe? Farm looking really nice. So stupid. I hate Talon and Katarina are my two most hated solo queue champions. Because you can dominate a lane like this. This is this is lane domination. But they just roam around bot top, pick up a few kills, and you can just lose the game because of it. Nine to five. This game just looks so hard to win from here as Gragas pops the ultimate. Okay, settle. Hey Fang will trust in the process. He's getting a really nice XP and C lead, CS lead. Hoping in the mid game he'll be able to turn a team fight and just exterminate one of their carries. Nice. Keep chunking away at him. Those tr those combos and trades aren't even that fast. As now we do get the fast combo. One more auto, we we'll get it into the. I don't even know how I don't even know how you can process this all in like it just seems so is it it's ER Q, Q W Q flat like your brain can't think that process fast enough it just has to happen it just has to flow out of your hands like butter and it does for Beifang because he has 10,000 Kiana games. Prowler's Claw done at 9 minutes, looking good. As I said, that Miramata Spike won't come in until a lot later. So we'll have a good Power Spike now, but oh my god, this Jace. 1 and 6 Irelia. The proper Power Spike, so he'll have a Power Spike now, but then he'll have a little trough in the mid game while he's waiting for that Miramata to come in. Boots still haven't been completed. Lucidity Boots should be the next purchase for him. Alan missing once again. I love League of Legends. You'd think after me playing for 13 years, I'd lose my passion. I still love the game. I still love the players. I still get excited. Maybe I don't get as excited as I did one, like, back when I first discovered Dopa. 
my one true love, my one true drug. But hey, Beifang, he's keeping me, he's keeping me hyped. He's keeping me coming back for that feeling. As we ignore the noise there and just make sure to grab that free CS under the tower. A lot of the time, there's a little bit of a mumbo jumbo skirmish going on that you know is like a flip. And you you commit for it, then you die, you lose the wave, and then it's just everything. You lose everything. You lose your house, you lose your mom, you lose your dog. Beifang, he just grabs that CS there, chills a little bit. Says, I'm not going for this. I'm not even posturing like I will, and that puts the team off. He's happy for the Talon to get this base. It means he'd be able to deny the wave. Talon gets stopped. And because he's stopped, we're going to try and deny the experience. Talon may fake base, which he did. I'm wondering how do we how do we hustle together the solo here? We have Prowlers. He gets ice. Talon has to know the solo is coming. Holding that for the E. Wants to try and hold this minion for the E through. And then Q. W Prowlers auto Q. Maybe with an ult. Something like that. Cute. Oh, Lux, please help me. And we get the assist. Thank you very much. Alan sitting on a ward. I was hoping we were going to, in a, in a, in a perfect world, get Beifang, Kiana versus Nish Trindamir mid. I wasn't able to find a review of that. But if I did, I, I honestly think I would have passed out. Aurelia really wants to stop inting. It would make our life much easier. DP's on. And she's dead again. This is just, this just reminds me. The Korean server, like the top laners on the Korean, like I... Like a Jace on in Korea it just picks apart on a team. And the problem is, people don't get carried in Korea. People will refuse to... In NA, bro, a top laner will die once or twice and, and his team's pop it off and he'll get killed, sit back and get carried. There's a culture difference where in Korea, they will not sit back and get carried. It's either they are the carry or lose. I don't know why. I don't know what's the difference, but it, tilt, it tilts me like no other whenever I play in Korea. Okay, this Aurelia will keep trying to win that 1v1, by the way, as a 1 in 7 into the world's most fed Jace you've ever seen. There's no logic there. Oh, this is going to be really good. Ultimate is up. 3, 2, 1. Ultimate is now up. Goes for the Grag. Finishes the Grag off. Takes that kill for himself. Doesn't opt for the Talon kill. Gets the extra treasure hunter. It feels like... Like they nerf treasure hunter. They nerf relentless hunter. Ingenious and ultimate hunter seem like the only ones left that I like. And even ultimate hunter I think got nerfed. I don't know. It just seems like in that... um, The red tree... The last three just seemed like they just got nerfed. It's, they probably were overpowered, to be honest. Especially Ravenous for a second there. Oh Ravenous, of course, gone now. They deleted it. That was broken. You have so many stupid broken things in the game that get removed. And I always think back, why didn't I abuse those things? But there's things in the game right now you can abuse, for sure. That will get nerfed, and we'll think back, hey, why don't I abuse that? Like, it just happens. It's, it's such a weird mentality. Where I long for the past, and I should be in the present, abusing the things that I can now. Psychology 101 with the mid means might be a professor one day. I actually do want to go back to university and get, um... Obviously, I have two bachelor degrees at the moment. I did complete university. I want to go back and pick up a teaching degree and then become a professor at Harvard. Teach esports and League of Legends. Huge CS lead here. 133 to 79. Oh, you want to do a little bit of extra curricula for a better mark? Maybe I can help you out. <laughs> Just kidding, I would never do that. Oh, Professor Midbeast only abides by the rules and flaws. Coming in now, no lucidity boots. He's gonna strike Yomu's Ghost Blade. 
Interesting. Haven't seen this build. This is actually new for me. Haven't seen this. Because he knows the mirror mine is not stacking for ages, there's no point rushing it. It's gonna take too too long. He wants that ghost blade. Move around the map a little bit quicker. Enemy has two dragons. Him in the echo, they're only two fed members. It seems hard. Caitlyn CS is good. But he's up against the, 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 the Superman Jace who has what? Two and a half items? You're not going to be able to kill this Jace. Let the wave come in. They're actually going to let it come in, come in. He's actually going to allow the minions to die first. No TP. World's most patient fed Kiana. Learn a lot from this. Jace probably bush sitting. And because of, do you see how the Bayfang doesn't just instant shove these waves? He lets it come in. He's denying. He'll let this sit as well, probably. Now moving in right now is so risky because if Jace has been sitting in that bush the whole time, you're dead. He calls Jace's bluff and says he's probably gone home. And Jace is here. Puts the pink down. That doesn't work, my friend. Oh my god, we've inted. Oh no. I spoke about it. I told you it could be a possibility. I'm so nervous. Has the sweeper just in case. I would have swept so much earlier than that. Lucidity boots will be. Oh, that made me really anxious. Oh, I really are. I feel like a prophet, but I just know how. Like I, I've just consumed and played so much of this silly little game that I just know what happens. It's like it's like I'm watching a movie for the first time, but I, I've, I've seen I've seen the director. And the actors play different movies, slightly different, a hundred million times. I just, I can just, I just know. One and nine Aurelia. This is just sad. Muramana into Serato's grudge. Maybe can one shot the Jace and get the turn. Problem is the Jace XP lead. Jace is level thirteen and a half. Is not good. Is is not good. Not uncarryable. Go. Definitely not uncarryable, but very difficult. There we go, Aurelia. Thank you very much, Aurelia. At least she's not giving up. Fighting. But don't ever touch my CS, you silly girl. Says Beifang in his mind. As he'll grab this, Aurelia should grab top lane wave. I would actually not even mind if Beifang TP top to grab the wave also. I really would leave the game though, so don't risk it. He is gonna move for this. Doesn't want to flash, but might have to. As he has had to use everything there. Wants to try and find the Kaisa. He's not gonna he's gonna try and W EQ but can't get it. Oh, this is so sad. This is so sad. EQ WQ 1000 bam. That's what a thousand gold over to the Beifang in a deficit game. You don't really want to do it. But this is another dragon coming up, and if enemy team gets Mountain Soul, um Kiana becomes almost useless. It, just, it, it, it completely negates the one shot, one shot capabilities, and then you just you don't command the same pressure. I love commanding pressure. Nice little kill. If, if he can eat that Jace bounty, if he can eat that Jace bounty, oh boy. Actually gets the interesting buy. 
Mage has a Tinsha Arena. That Mirror Mana is still stacking, bro. It's coming. It's gonna come in so late. Nice little pick onto the talent. This dragon fight is massive. If they can get it, as they find the Jace, or as Jace found them, Bay Fang ultimate Prowlers. Waiting for the Caitlyn and will take the gold and the treasure hunter 110. That is 1.1k gold. 1.1k gold from a kill there, plus, like, ah. Uh, that's so much gold. That's a serrated Dirk worth of a kill. He wants to shove and then wrap around, so he's pinging his team, don't fight, hold, hold, dance, dance. Now he'll come. He'll try and come from a back angle, hopefully. He wants to get, yeah, wants to come from this left angle and one-shot the Kai'Sa. Go, ooh, ooh, Q. WQ gets the Thresh. Now all eyes are on the Gragas. He's waiting. Gets the Gragas. Did they get the Kaiser? They did. They'll get the Dragon, which was probably my, the scariest thing for me. And now they're pinging towards the Nash. He has TP. If his team rushes it, plus the TP, they can get it. TP's in. Talon is way overextended. What the hell are you... What are you buying? Gets... Gets the Mirror Mana, didn't find a slot for that 1300 gold in his inventory. He panicked a little bit. It should be Serato's Grudge into maybe Edge of Night. Let's see. Zoning the Jace. He has ultimate again. He might try and kill the Jace here. Q, yes, ultimate Prowlers. There you go. Caitlyn steals it. Stupid. Ah, uh, girl. And I'm liking this turnaround. This is making me confident. Mirror mana done. Lethality item done. Next up will be the grudge. This is just, he's gonna be, he's so big right now. He's spiking, he's peaking. This is a 16 year old at high school, captain of the football team. At prom night. After rumors get off that he's well endowed, like the, this, this is the, he's, it's his peak right now. After he hits the winning shot at the, at the, at the, at the, at the hits that he shoots, the quarterback throws the ball in the movie and everyone's gone crazy. He is peaking. That's what I'm trying to say. Me? I haven't even begun to peak. Some would say, Drew, what about the time you beat Dopa? Was that when you peaked? No. Gragas. This has to be massive. Ultimate. Oh, takes the Grag. Take the free kill onto the Thresh. Q. Come back over. He's not rushing anything. He has flash. He could flash for a lot of these kills, but he's just not. He's not wasting it, is he? The only person using the flash that would be worth would be Hill the Jace, and even then, maybe not. The way that the game's getting played out is a winning play, so he's just, oh no. Oh no! Like then, like, like flashing that. Caitlyn's starting to clutch. Jesus, that was close. Oh no, the bomber. Talon's gonna parkour over for the Lux too. They can't get anything from it, but that makes the game very tough. Like th this game is so close right now. That was played so that was played really bad. I'll just say it. That was played really bad. Gets the stoppy. Has the flash. I thought he's peaking, but maybe this is the peak because he has stopwatch now. Stop watching three actives. The thing about my brain is I have maybe an i3 to i5 processor. Once I start getting over the, the two actives, and then if I if I have to have three actives plus a flash, plus like playing a hard champion like Kiana, my brain overheats and I'm not able to, I, I, it just freezes. And then I was going to a team fight and not click anything and go, mm, it just, dun -dun. like it just, that's just what happens for me. Faker's got that new age i12. He's got that hooked up. Like some players just have it. 
Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm trying to, do you know what I'm trying to tell you or am I just waffling? Sometimes I find myself in these videos just talking absolute shit. Hopefully some of you guys enjoy it. Oh, this could be an alt play. Flash alt. Alan flashes. Whoa, that lands into the... That was sick. That was heckin' sick. Use the flash, but this should mean at least inhibitor and an inhibitor tower siege. Let's see. He was thinking about pushing bot there. He sees the Jace on the red. Now we're going to go for a little hunt. Now we're going to go for a little hunt. Look what I found. Auto. Oh. 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 Is he delaying? He's delaying? He knows he'll get him. That was sick. The fade away. Puts that recall in. A little bit of disrespect. A little dab. I like it. I like some disrespect in League of Legends. I have no mercy. What a silly, silly thing that mercy is. If you queue up and I dominate, I'm dunking on you. That's what it that's what it's there for. I'm not giving you no I'm not I'm, I'm not I'm not easing up because I'm I'm 20 kills ahead. If anything, I'm trying harder. Prove a goddamn point. I hate when sports team, it's like they get a 20, 30 point lead and they rest their good players and they're like, oh, don't do anything too crazy, be respectful. Don't be respectful, be disrespectful. Dunk on those losers, bro. There's losers as winners in, 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 in games, in competition. Now, have I ever had a chance to properly dunk on somebody? No. Not tall enough. Don't get it twisted. I'm not 5'5". Five five. I'm almost 6 foot. Like, if, if I'm on a really good day with a smile on my face, sunny day outside, I put a good pair of shoes on, spike my hair up, prop my neck up a little bit, and I stand next to someone that's 6 foot, I damn could be close. I'm telling you. Someone could look at me and say, damn, that guy's, that guy's 6 foot. They could. That's the, that's the trick. Base overextended. We have enough. His damage is starting to. Oh, he's not even near help his team. He actually might just go GA and TP in here. Let's see. I, I GA Kiana is pretty eh. It's pretty eh, but he'll use it and then potentially sell it to try and get the Strattles Grudge when he has enough gold. I understand it. Oh yeah. He's one tapping, he's fifteen and three. He's got this game under control. He's even gonna look for the he'll Q over, use that invisibility, Carson doesn't know. Close. That little Q mechanic a lot of people don't do or know. Where you Q over the wall and then you W over and you're invisible. And then they don't know you're there and you move up and you go whoopash with an EQ. I really are uh, just gifting. Yeah, really just gifting us kills today. Talon. Oh, that's Jace. He's on a broomstick. He flashes. We can't get any brushes from here. Oh, dude, how did he get that? He does go down. He hard reached for that bush. I would not be able to reach it. And this game will continue. He won't have enough gold by selling GA here, I don't think. Let's see. 20 on 100. Strata's Grudge. What is that? How much is Strata's Grudge? Okay. It's definitely the buy. Double kill. He wants to sell it because he knows it's useless. Grudge is 3,200. He, he wants a pricier item, but he can't afford it. He's calling up the bank loan in this economy. Denied. Sell it. Come on, let's get let's get a cool item. Wow. Doesn't sell, doesn't get an elixir. He says if something bad happens and I buy a silly item, they could win. The truth is, his team is gonna end the game here. Ladies and gentlemen, 
They thank Kiana. It's back. What can I say? The guy's absolutely smurfing all of the server. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video, gentlemen. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace. You may be thinking, I thought the video just ended. It hasn't. I wanted to watch another game, so I'm watching another game. Thanks for sticking around. If you want to watch another game, then let's do it together. We're into a Gragas this time. We're running the first strike. So this is actually a contrasting style. Gragas solo kills. Can we do it? Say it with me. No, Gragas is stupid. Flipping champion. Hate that champion. Stupid. Kind of big. Not saying he's overweight. As we get into the landing phase, first strike, resolve, secondary bone plating, demolish is an interesting one, we haven't seen him use demolish before, but he's definitely got a new little style to this climb. An hour of watching the best Kiara in the world with mid -beast. I mean, how else would you spend your weekend? With family, with loved ones, with your girlfriend? <laughs> Uh, I'm alone on the weekends. I have no friends. I'll watch my friend Beifan, who probably doesn't know I exist. As, once again, this game looks a little bit hard. Don't expect any solos early. I expect a nice, smooth 10 CS per minute landing phase. First back with the tier. And then a slow progression where you become that 25 to 30 minute monster that Kiana is. You always, as a one trick, you have to shift your style. People don't... You play the game for long enough, they just change the champion identity for you. Like for me, when I played the old Talia, early game champion, I'd look for early solos, pure chaos. They changed it into a mid to late game mage. But early game trades aren't, aren't rewarded. Annie? Get the wave, move. Level one Annie. The Beifang, he's realized Ryder shifting yeah, Kiana's power away from levels 3 and more towards level 9. The later stages of the game, he's changed up his playstyle. You have to do that. You have to be adaptable. If you want to be a rank 1 player like Beifang, like Dopa, like myself, you have to be adaptable in the meta. Otherwise, you could completely just go from a challenger player to a grandmaster player or even a master tier player depending on the patches. Look at the wave in. I don't think he can get a solo, but maybe can hustle together. I didn't see Gragas' um if he's running teleport. Next time he sees Tab, I'll have a look. I think he was. Well, the Q missed that. What the hell? I think he tried to target him and Gragas got a minion. Yep, Gragas TP. I remember they actually do a lot of um. I can't remember what program it was, but there's a program that some pro players and some pro teams can use where they will show you a tab, like they will hit tab for 0.05 milliseconds, and then you have to then, well they'll show a, 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 a game state for 0.05 seconds, and this is a good little coaching thing that a lot of teams don't do, but like you instantly have to then present to, to say how much information you've gathered from that tab or from that position in the game. Well, you can look and say to them what team has the advantage, maybe they should take the fight or not. Just instantly, quick brief, quick glimpse, take it away and your brain, just to see how people's brains processes and see if there's anything that you can fix there. Because sometimes people aren't getting the most useful information. Their brain is not thinking correctly. Maybe you can change the way people perceive certain game states, information, stuff like that. It's an interesting little tidbit. As I do want to one day transition into a full-time coaching role. Not quite done with the League of Legends content creator side, but... I will want to become head coach mid -beast one day. Leading the youngsters to the 2030... 2031 World Championships around about then. I'll have some grey hair. I'll have a young team of rookies by my side and I'll lead them to victory. Not quite there yet, but I will one day. I will construct my team. Is it going to be of my own children? I mean, I only have a certain amount of years left to find find a adequate partner and, and get five children out. By my calculations, nine times five, nine months, 
Um, get done in four years. That gives me 20, 27, 8, look at that time. 2030, I could have a full roster to you of League of Legends mid beans. However, they'll be like zero years old and they won't be able to play. So then you'll have to give me another like 15 years. Oh, I'm going to miss my time zone. I'm going to miss it. Twenty forty world championship, maybe I guess. Twenty forty five. Is there any way to speed run kids aging? I don't know. I don't. That's my Invisalign. Ben just snapped. Oh, Apologies. I only have Invisalign. My third year old male with Invisalign. That's okay. I don't mind it. It's okay. I've just been waffling this game. Really nothing is happening at the moment. We're just scaling up. I guess. Oh, there we go. ER. He waits the ice to make him take another tower shot. Insane 1v2 there. Just going to do a quick replay on that because some of you might have missed it. But he has, he has ice, right? But he doesn't use it. He ERs, he waits, then he CCs again to get that tower shot. Q auto will get the kill. So Wukong was hovering. That's a really nice solo. I love the time in League, and this happens in your lower elo games. Trust me, it does. If you play towards their mistakes rather than your outplays, you'll get... And just make sure to focus on fundamentals like CSing and positioning. The enemy, a lot of the time, because if you're CSing well, you're getting good resources, they will just spoon feed, spoon, spoon, spoon feed you with, with dumb, bad decisions in their lower elo. And you'll just collect kills and be able to carry a lot of games, just like that. You don't have to be insane at League of Legends to, to carry. Sometimes it's just about not being a complete stupid moron idiot. I've said it. That's the fact. That's how it is. Sometimes, just don't do anything dumb. Play the fundamentals well and you'll collect LP and wins. Take the emotions out of the game. Play like a robot. No mistake. Trust me, if it's not too late to change your complete playstyle. Somebody asked me the other day, hey Midbeast. Oh, Nocturne, I like that. He said, hey, if I've formed a bunch of bad habits, should I take a break from League of Legends for a few months and come back? We will go down here. I would have given up on life like six times in that fight. Wukong still coming. Don't have to use our flash. And we guarantee we're not going to lose anything for that. That's insane. And my response is, should I take a break from League of Legends and come back to try and like forget my bad habits? And the answer is no, I don't. I really don't think so. I think get start really like writing down in a notepad and looking at your own games to identify your bad habits and some of the mistakes and then actively start trying to change them instantly. Working from one list, one thing on the list to the other. Taking a break for three months is just delaying your process. You'll come back even worse and you don't forget habits like that. They'll just subconsciously be in your brain. You need them to be consciously in your brain so that you can start fixing them so that eventually your good habits will happen start, like just automatically without thinking and that's where League of Legends becomes really smooth. As this lane is just stupid, Greg is mid, everybody hates it, except for Faker because he abuses it. Seriously at nine, nine and a half per minute. I want to see another solo, but it, it won't happen unless Gragas makes a misstep like he did before. Nocturne looking for the gank. Ice Q. Ultimate. There you go. Thank you so much, Nocturne. You beautiful demon looking thing with no face. My jungle is, and I don't know about you guys, but probably yours as well. Need the plates. Thank you for the plates. Uh, they don't give me kills. They actively try and steal mine. I don't know at what level you start getting gifted kills. 
But me and you, we don't get gifted kills. They steal them from us. Don't know. I don't know why. Prowl is completed. Probably Lucidity Boots here. And we'll head out. Miramana, this game, will be able to finish a little bit earlier. So I expect to see him do it second instead of doing that little Ghost Blade trick he did last. The Miramana should be done before 20. Just because he got that er way earlier tier. He's so passive. Does the Gragas really out trade you with two kills? Let's see. Yep, it's pointless looking for trades. There you go. Question answered. I'm wondering why we don't just start looking for shove roams with the Jin. Like if you four man bot with Nocturne, Jin, Yumi, it should be insta kills on their bot lane. He can't quite find it though. So it seems like he's just relaxed and okay with farming mid lane 10 per minute. Update on my rank currently. I got to rank 27 in Challenger today. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Says Beifang. I really want to try and get a thousand points. I've never been a thousand points before, and because of how the LP. Oh my god. He just has awareness. Wukong over the wall. ER. I love that instant recall. Oh! He's actually gonna have to go on a little bit of a... A little bit of a run here. Good mid lane players will always track enemy junglers and try and shut, shut them down. It's so valuable to know how the enemy jungle is. Nice! One for one. I'll give us a smooth track to the mid lane, we'll shove that out. Use that to demolish. What a weird rune. You don't see many mid laners go demolish these days. This is a risky base, but I'm for it. Oh. This... this seems really risky. I guess he wanted... I mean, it should be Cauliflower into another dagger. The longsword, sorry. Maybe he was waiting for the TP, because he maybe wants to try and TP flank bot. He's going to TP mid, I think. Looks for some aggressive TPs, nothing available. Asante versus Yorick 1v1. Yorick wins, of course. Yorick is a stupid, abused, broken, dumb champion that needs to be reworked. What do you guys think about the Udyr rework? I didn't really like the Udyr rework. I think it was a bit of a... I, I, they took a whole a team a whole year to do that, and I don't really... Oh, oh. Might have to flash here. Ultimate. Flash. Finds the Wukong. One more auto. No! Misplay. He plays so aggressively when a, lo when a lot of other players would play passive. It just surprises them. Like the Wukong never would have thought that Beifang would be still hunting there. PWQ. Three O. CS is looking really nice. Three hundred gold bounties worth. Jesus. 
的话，我刚刚把他当成一个有身份的猴子了。我怕他一棒子回血管血，他这波身份没出来，就直接 A 就好了。I'm scared about the Yorick. His name is Gape or Gapey. I'm pretty sure that the, the, there was an oceanic Yorick player who invented this style. I used to always play him against him in solo Q, solo Q and just hate, hate versing him. And then he got challenged on EU West. Silly. It's just because there's so many bugs with Yorick at the moment. And when you go this like Hydra perma shoving, lethality setup, it just, it just it's just a weird thing and it, it, it seems to work very well. Our bot lane here is not doing too crash hard. I don't know what's going on. Jin plus new Yumi. I thought it'd be pretty good. Jin with the Kraken. Yurimana 17 minutes. Wait for the long sword and we'll come out. Nice little spike here in the mid game. Almost level 13. Used his minion dematerializers on one of each minion, by the way. I think minion dematerializer is one of the most underrated runes in the game. Being able to do extra damage to minions for the entire game is just... It's so unspoken about. I love it. You shove ways faster. You last hit better. I don't know, man. I like it. Plus, you can get so much priority in lane for better recalls. The problem is, there's a little bit of thinking that goes into it. So, I always say this: like the less thinking things you have to do, the better. Right. Uh, anywhere below diamond, I would I would recommend that. Active item, active rune, anything that your brain has to process, usually not a good idea. Some people would disagree with that, but. From time and time again, I just get it just gets proven to me when I watch low elo players try and use hourglass or everfrost and things like that, or understand how like crown works or any active like they just don't you're just not using it right or biscuits like you're just not using it right. Why do that when you can just get gathering storm? It's a storm that gathers and you get extra damage from it. Just things like this, small things like this. It's just leagues a simple game. Keep it simple, stupid, that's what they say. Oh my god, we go low. We're gonna have to flash. Octane ult comes through. Has to play this so slow. He's on the hunt for the S. Can he get behind? Jin ult opens up. Beautiful. That's such a nice team fight. I thought he might have got rinsed there by the Annie ult. But he's able to clutch up. TP down bot lane. He'll get that tower too. This is just situated for such a good game. He knows the enemy team's starting to get a little bit armed. I'm going to get the last whisper. But Serata's grudge into edge of night. Looking really good here. Plus we're going to get Iyana with a Yumi, which I love. Always feels nice having that little cat on top of you. In game. Of course. 1.5 CS per minute. We're doing in tremendously well. That demolish is starting to do a little bit of work. So he likes to split push, I guess. Use the demolish to get these towers a bit faster. I'm like a free win. They have a really good team comp. No AP makes me a bit nervous if the enemy team stacks armor, but we're getting very early onto this last whisper, so it hopefully shouldn't be an issue. Maybe look for a pick and try and get the Baron, is the call. Finds the Yanni. Going. Yep. He uh, doesn't land. He's going to have to go over the wall with Annie. We'll be able to kill her, but what's the cost? WQ gets it. 
And he finds the Yorick. Be careful here, Beifang. Give me all. Meow, 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 meow. Yorick! WQ will get him. Look at this stupid bro. Like, look at this. What the hell? Yeah. I agree, bro. It's happened to me before. I hate the champ. Everybody committing. They finally take down the Yorick. And thankfully, still a team fight win. Oh, the Kasante went down. Nocturne goes down. Jin flash. Hopefully this is not the start of a comeback. Jin finishes the monkey off. In game. He really wants to try and force a Nash play. Make a pick, get a Nash. He doesn't want this game to go late. They're peaking now and they want to end. If the Wukong Gragas start getting too tanky, it's going to be a really bad time. Because the Jin, the Kiana, the damage falls off. Same with the Nocturne. Then you have no AP damage, really. Can't Yumi as AP damage. Just remove Yumi from the game. They failed. Can we not just remove a champion and say, mission failed? Remove Evelyn while you're at it. Flash up in 10 seconds. Dragon fight is the next reward there. We'll clear it. Maybe try and move over and look for the pick on the blue. We can't one-shot the Gragas or the Wukong anymore, by the way. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's literally found the whole team. Hey, Fang, it's... Exactly. He's showing our, us viewers exactly what not to do. And you can just see how the, the damage here, because like, ugh, enemy team has a lot of steel caps. Steel cap, steel cap, steel cap. They got three mid top side. This game's gonna be hard, bro. And this Yorick is just gonna perma shove down lanes over and over. This will be fun though. It'll be good. It'll be a good game to learn what the hell to do. Because I get into a spot like this if I play Kiana, and I don't know. I just want to FF because I don't really know what to do. Use his TP here. Interesting. Now it doesn't have the cross map play to the Baron. I think that is a mistake. Shoves it, gets level 15. They are on soul point, but it's it's cloud soul. Not the best soul, but it's not definitely not useless. Some people in in League of Legends games think cloud soul is trash, cloud dragons are bad. Uh, they're very good. Mathematically, they're one of the best. Just because you don't see the infernal thing explode on top of someone. Oh, boring. Settle. As we will get the pick onto the Wukong. No, we won't. We get that pick, we're gonna get Nash, but he doesn't want to move across too aggressively here. Oh my god. Now, without ultimate, we kind of just have to sit back. Ezreal's starting to stack up as well. He's, Ezreal's CSing so well. Desperation Nash, I don't think you want to do it. I don't think you want to do it with the Jin. I think bad call, bad call, bad call, bad call, bad call, bad call. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god. You're not allowed to get stuck in that little thing. I think you gotta give it. I think you gotta give this. If you contest and you all die, you might just instantly lose the game. Oh god. Here we go. Nocturne goes down. If one is the trade and they're not able to get Nash, it's worth. 
Do the last way, huh? That might be fine, because yeah. Sante gets mid lane wave. And they're not on it. I'd say worth, I'd say worth. Kisante dies for no reason. They don't get the Baron, so... Objective bounties are going to turn off for the enemy team. You can see the comeback has been established and they have the better late game comp. I'm terrified. As it looks like he's heading his way towards... What is that? A black cleaver, maybe? N N. I miss Korea. I can't wait to go and play in Korea server this year. Hmm. Yeah. Are you sure? This doesn't. It just. It just feels hopeless. Like there's no openings. He needs to one-shot the Ezreal. But Annie is doing a very good job in protecting, and so is the Gragas, who actually has experience lead. So Gragas has done well to maintain this. Early mistakes, but now has CS lead and XP lead, I think. Or close to it. Dragon fight coming up. Ocean Soul would be really good. I don't know if you want to Ocean Soul for the Baron. I'd probably take the trade. Looking for the pick on Gragas. Now watch the, watch watch this damage. I want to see the, how much damage does he do here. Prowler ult. Oh, that's not my guy. That's not my guy. He's just overforcing now in some of these fights, isn't he? Now he doesn't have ultimate for the dragon. He obviously wanted the pick to deny the Gragas didn't fully fire force the dragon, but the ultimate was like a, a Hail Mary, and now we don't have it here. Pink Ward. A couple more of them. Get trapped into this goddamn Yorick thing again. Kill that thing. Auto! We do have Flash. We are just playing so patiently. Yeah. Ultimate in 20. Oh, 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 oh. I do foresee a play being able to be possible here. We have ult in 10, we have TP, we have flash, but we're not going to go for it. Dragon goes over. And this ult just came down to him not having ult for that fight. It would have been a game changer. He's gonna shove base and try and TP back in if they look for the Nash. Oh. Oh my god. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. We're dead, but like, I could see his brain processing. I could just see his brain processing that there. He's like, should I go for it? No. Should I go for it? No. He's like, yes, it's free. Go, go, go. Because he really wanted to get the base power spike, come back with a cleaver, but he's got the he's got the cleaver done now. Into the stopwatch. And I still think their Baron is too slow with the Jin, but That gives them mm, they're gonna look for it. They fang TP in 20. I don't know if Gragas does have the TP though. Wukong is aware. Wukong is one of the best clutch Baron stealers. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Wukong is That's League of Legends. Sometimes you're having fun, but most of the time, you hate your teammates. You want to put them in a microwave and turn it up high. Like, you just, you want to do things, dude. Uh, I don't know what to do now. They have Baron. We have an angle. E R. 
Three man ultimate. One shots Yezreel, looking to reposition here. Yorick, how you doing, mate? We have the cooldown to permanently push W. Yep. Another one. Another one. Mm. I love watching. Hey! Another one. Stop watch. He'll die here. He won't die here. What is this fight? Another bush one. Over. Q. Get the Yorick. One more. Dude, he was walking through that terrain. I swear to God. Another bush. Always bush. Always bush, 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 bush. Push, 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 push. In 1990 porn film. Push, 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 push. Come on. Beautiful. Oh, my God. That is what I'm talking about, big boy. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Alts that. I my heart rate must be like a. I'll, maybe I'll do. A, I'll put a heart rate monitor on for one of these 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 reactions. I swear it's 200, bro. I got a little bit nervous there. Into the elixir gets the iron elixir. Tenacity, baby. Chug chug chug. That's a big Kiana. Okay, big girl. Zoom in on her thighs if you could. I'm just joking, just joking, just a prank, just a prank. Who farming? Fight in 25 seconds with Flash, it's gonna be an insta win. If you fight without it, it's a risk. Annie is mispositioned. Q. We grab that. My bro is still 9 CS per minute, this is crazy. Yumi jumping onto the one player she knows can carry. Hey, come back! Yumi? Nah, we're not risking mid. We're not, we're not risking mid lane ARAM. We're, we're gonna go for the soul. Enemy just has wards everywhere. That ward right there, by the way, that big orn looking ward thing, that's the best, highest win rate ward in the game. As we one shot the Yorick and we're still invisible. Still invisible. But even look for the. Still invisible. Another bush over there if you want it. Still invisible. Bush again? Invisible, still. Kiana's a dumb champion, bro. The champion design is so broken at its highest level. We could flash. Like, there's like 900 moments here where he could flash, kill somebody, but he just wants to hold. WQ will get it. WQ. Oh, not quite. Soul will go over to the Nocturne. And we're sitting on 1600 gold with GA still up. You're going to TP in maybe if he needs. Is do, Are we going to buy something different? Just elixir up again. I guess we hold in case this game goes late, late. Sell GA. Get a death dance or something. I Wukong. Goodbye, Wukong. And he gets the clone plus 25. And he's just gonna wait. He's really patient. See if anyone steps up. The Wukong does. He grabs that kill. And now we're gonna shove the mid lane wave in. We're still not close to, end to ending, by the way. Still farming gold. At this point, we're denying. We're not gathering. He's thinking about selling boots. I think you're gonna be too slow, though, Mr. Beifang. Thought about it. He was thinking about it. I think boot sale on a champion like Kiana is not worth it. You then just become way... Like, your mobility just goes down so much. You're not able to find these unique angles in the fight.
has an angle. Ezreal spots him out with the Q. I think it's a very weird way. Like, he wants to go... Ah, he sees the Wukong. I didn't even see that Wukong. And he's just trying to deal with this monkey. As his team goes in. This is a little bit awkward. Wukong moves. Beifang tries to combo him. They do take down the Wukong, but Kasante goes down. And this fight's looking so, so bad. Unless we can clutch. Gets the Ezreal. Just has to sit near these bushes. Oh my god. If he dies here, it could be GG. 40 minute death, 40 second death timers. He's not going to risk it. They might even try to look for the end. That Wukong did such a good job at, at um, keeping him out of the fight. He has the GA, so he can play a little bit aggressively, but you still don't want to just give it over for free looking for a dumb play. And hey, I know this is a pretty long video, but if you stuck around to now, you're an absolute goddamn legend. Hey, big boy. Red buff has been stolen. We're not going to be forgetting about you, Gragas. You stole that from us, and we will be coming to claim it. E R. Waits for it. W. This would be a Q fade away. Up. Nothing better than a fade away on a Zonya's target. <laughs> Alright, two people dead. 37 minutes in. Baron's up. Wukong's coming, so I think maybe care. I reckon you can one-shot the Ezreal. But you have to burn his flash. Oh. He'll TP in here. We'll get the free Nash, I think. Boots have been sold for Ghost Blade. Plus the Elixir. This is... This is endgame. This is endgame Kiana, ladies and gentlemen. I wish he'd show us how much AD he has. 3.4k health. GA. I think they're just going to A-ram it. Beifang trying to get always... You see him always hustling for a different angle. You never want to be with the team on these type of assassins, bro. You don't just come in straight with the team. You come in from an angle like this. Huge ultimate comes through. Ezreal's able to E out, though. Nice reaction. We take down the Tibbers. And we're just hovering on the back end of this fight. We don't want to go too deep. An ace here for either team means GG. And this Jin's starting to clean up. And he will go down. There's only two members remaining. Yorick is dead. We still have the GA. Ezreal gets one. Ezreal gets the GA. Can he clutch? I don't think that Ezreal's going to be able to clutch. That will be it, boys and girls. Thank you for watching. What a game. Hope you had a great weekend. Hey, I'll catch you guys on my next video. I'm serious this time. That's the end. Peace.